More than a few politicians have promised us the moon, but John F. Kennedy delivered. And though he did not live to see the success of Apollo 11, this launch complex here in Florida is named in his honor. Mark Strassman tells us the future of space includes a promise to return to the moon, possibly as early as 2024, on the way to Mars. This is the Orion mock-up here at the Johnson Space Center. Orion, NASA's new spaceship, looks like Apollo from the outside. But Neil Armstrong wouldn't recognize what's inside. Come on down into the step. Mark Kurisich, NASA's Orion program manager, showed us there's room for four astronauts, not three. We're going to do what the astronauts will do on launch day. A half century of technological advances, solar cell power, guidance and navigation sensors, and this control panel. Three identical displays, you can put any display on any one of the panels. NASA wants an SLS rocket, the most powerful ever, to launch Orion to the moon. But Orion and SLS are years behind schedule and billions over budget. Michael Collins rode to the moon on Apollo 11. We should now be planning for a visit to Mars. A trip to Mars uh, makes uh, uh, Apollo look like child's play. Mars is NASA's ultimate goal. This Hawaiian habitat simulates long-term living on the red planet. For example, every communication is delayed 20 minutes to reflect the time lag communicating between Mars and Earth. A moon landing would only be a stepping stone. This time when we go, though, we're going to stay. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine says sustainability is paramount, harvesting the moon's resources, including its water ice. We're going to prove technology, we're going to prove capability, and then we're going to take that technology and capability onto Mars. On to Mars, but NASA has never laid out a plan of how they're going to get there. The cost would be astronomical, clearly out of this world. But, Nora, first they have to find a way to get back to the moon. All right, Mark Strassman, thank you.